Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to episode four of my Strange Town Let's Play. Today we're going to be introducing the Smith family. And they live here at 101 Road to Nowhere. This is the nicest, biggest home in Strange Town. And their bio says, after a fruitful career, Pollination Technician 9 has retired to his favorite planet. But can his son Johnny make friends and fit in, or is this family just too strange for Strange Town? So, for some reason, Jill Smith um, doesn't have a shirt on. I don't know what's up with that <laughs> thumbnail there, but don't pay attention to that. She is fully clothed once we load the lot. As soon as we load the lot, we find the Smith family uh, preparing for Johnny's birthday. Today is his 18th birthday. He is going to be aging up to an adult. And the family has purchased a buffet table. We've got a stereo here. And uh, we are going to be throwing a birthday party for Johnny. This is part of the Max's scripted events. The Smith family are number four in the suggested uh, family rotation here. So we are going to be playing these scripted events, but before we do that, I just want to talk about the family story, their background, and let's introduce all of the individual Sims and look at their personalities. So as I said before, they do live here at 101 Road to Nowhere. This is a very nice house for Strange Town standards. Um, the Smith name was adopted by Pollination Technician 9 after he arrived in Strange Town so he could fit in better with the humans. And from here on out, I am just going to refer to him as Paul or Paul because I don't want to say Pollination Technician number 9 every time I want to refer to him. I'm just going to call him Paul. <laughs> And if you don't know what a pollination technician is here in The Sims 2, they are aliens who abduct and impregnate Sims stargazing through the telescope at night. And each neighborhood in the game has its own pollination technician. Um, Paul here is retired from the technician game. <laughs> so back to the family. Paul was different than the other pollination technicians. And he didn't enjoy impregnating Sims as a career. And instead, he longed to settle down and start a family of his own. So there was this one trip where Paul went to Pleasant View and abducted a beautiful, dark-haired woman who you might know as Bella Goth. And fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, this was the day that Paul had had enough. He was sick of his job and he was going to quit. So instead of impregnating Bella, he wiped her memory, purposely crashed his spaceship in the desert, and set her free. The crash site that you see in Strange Town is the crash site where Paul and Bella crashed the spacecraft and he set her free in Strange Town. She had no memories of her previous life, so she's just been wandering the streets, but we're going to get to her story later on. Back to Paul, this was his chance for a fresh start. He let his fellow technicians think he was killed in the crash, but some of them knew it wasn't true, but they just let him be because he was always like a weirdo in their eyes. Um, he didn't want to impregnate helpless Sims into them. That was just insane. Why would you not want to do that? So they left him on earth and just let him have his little human life. And he took the name of Smith so he could fit in better with the locals. He met Jenny here, his wife, um, and... She soon fell in love with him and he fell in love with her. They got married. She has always had an affinity for aliens ever since she was a young girl. Her favorite color is green and she has quite an obsession with aliens and the color green. And I think that might even have affected her younger brothers, which are the Curious Brothers and uh, kind of spurred on their interest in aliens as well. Over time, Paul won the hearts of the people in Strange Town, and he became a well-known community leader. He's well-respected and admired by most of his neighbors, with one exception. General Buzz Grunt hates aliens, and he's been in a long-standing feud with the Smiths. In fact, Paul and Buzz had a knockdown, drag-out fight, which Paul won, and Buzz has never forgiven him for that. So as a family sim, Paul loves his wife and children more than anything in the world. Um, they've given him the life he always dreamed of and never thought he could have. He stayed home with the kids when they were little and taught them most of their toddler skills, while Jenny here has worked as a nurse to support the family. He is the most loving, kind, and supportive father a sim could ever hope for. And the day that his oldest son, Johnny, was born was like the best day of his life. He is a wonderful father. Now, there is a little bit of weirdness in the Smith family tree. 
Before he retired, uh, Paul impregnated Glarn Curious, which is Jenny's father. So Glarn gave birth to twin girls named Chloe and Lola. We will be playing them later on. And after Jenny and Paul got married, her half-sisters then also became her stepdaughters. So that is a little bit weird. <laughs> I don't know how these relationships are going to play out between these sims yet, but that's going to be very interesting to find out. So now let's take a look at the personalities and relationships of our Sims um, before we get started playing the intro. And of course, we're going to start here with Paul himself, the founder and patriarch of the family. So like I said before, he is a family Sim. And he is in love with his wife, Jenny. He is just almost friends with Jill and Johnny, which is a little surprising to me, considering he spent so much time with them when they were toddlers. But maybe they've sort of drifted apart. Um, as they've grown older, and I think he's probably going to want to fix that. He knows Ophelia, who is dating Johnny, and he knows General Buzz Grunt, which they are not enemies. Um, they are just acquaintances at this at this time. And then, of course, his daughters, Lola and Chloe. Now, their last name here says Singles. I'm going to be changing that because that doesn't make any sense. They're going to be changed back to Curious. He has no career, of course, because he's retired from the pollination technician career. He has some skills in cooking and cleaning, which makes sense since he's a family sim. He is a Pisces. Selfless and kind, Pisces are one of the nicest signs. They're active too. However, this combination can make them emotionally restless and indecisive. He is very neat, very playful, I'm a little on the shy side, kind of lazy, and he's pretty nice as well. His bio says the only thing Polynesian Technician 9 loves more than his lawn is his family. When he's not spending time with his children, he enjoys clipping coupons and staring up at the sky. He's interested in entertainment, culture, health, weather, travel, and animals. We don't know what his one true hobby is yet. And he has the memories, of course, of getting engaged to Jenny, falling in love with Jenny. Um, getting married, his children growing up, woohooing, and having his children, and then his fight with, uh, he won the fight with General Buzz Grunt, of course. His turn-ons are young adults and charisma, and his turn-off is education. Okay, that's, those are weird, but of course we know those are randomly generated, so they don't mean too much on the pre-maids. And I don't even see that they have any bolts together, that he has any bolts with his uh, wife, so that's kind of odd. All right, let's go take a look at Jenny. Jenny, the alien-obsessed young lady who had her dreams come true and was able to marry an alien. She's also a family sim. You can see here that she wants to quit her job. She does work like I said, as a nurse, level three in the medical career, but she, her heart is not in it. She wants to stay home with her family more, but hers is the only income that they have. So I'm not sure what's going to happen if she quits her job, but that's what she wants to do. So we'll let her pursue that. Her relationships, of course, she's in love with Paul. Um, she's acquaintances with her children, and she, I think she definitely wants to spend more time with them and get those relationships up, especially now that Johnny's aging up to an adult. She's realized that she's been gone for a long time, and uh, she has to work long hours at the hospital, and she's missed out on a lot of her children's life, and I think that's why she's wanting to quit her job. She also knows Ophelia. Uh, she's been, Ophelia has been over to their house several times since she's been dating Johnny. And then her brothers here, she's acquaintances with them, not quite friends. She's kind of grown apart from them as she's moved on with her life and her own family. Her personality is she is a Taurus. She is kind of on the sloppy side, shy, a little lazy, a little serious, but she's very, very nice. And her bio says, Jenny loves having a career, but she wishes she could spend more time with her family and maybe make some new friends. She really likes green. <laughs> And if you'll notice, every piece of clothing that Jenny owns, if you go and look through her clothing, is the color green, uh, unless you have default replacements. But if you're playing the base game, she's all of her clothing is green. She's obsessed with it. Her interests include entertainment, food, health, fashion, and culture. We don't know what her one true hobby is. 
And she has um, lots of memories of falling in love, getting married, her children's births, getting a job. And then uh, she also remembers that her brother Vidkin got abducted by aliens. I guess he called and told her about that. Her turn-ons are influential and mechanical, and her turn-off is plant simism. Doesn't like those plant sims. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the kids. So the oldest child is Johnny Smith, and we saw him briefly in the Spectre episode whenever he came over to visit Ophelia. Like I said, he is 18 years old. Oh, and also the ages. Uh, Paul here is 70. And Jenny is 55. All right, so Johnny, 17 years old, about to turn 18. His relationships, um, almost friends with his parents, just an acquaintance with his little sister, doesn't really spend too much time with her. Of course, he is going steady uh, and has a crush on Ophelia Nygmos. He's almost friends with Rip Grunt, which is kind of strange because his family is feuding with the Grunt family. But Rip is just so nice that he couldn't help but become friends with him at school. And then he knows his half-sisters here. He is just acquaintances with them. And he is enemies with Tank Grunt. He cannot stand Tank. And they do not get along well at all. He has a B in school and he has quite a high body skill. And his bio says, Johnny dreams of being the hero that rides in on a white horse, or at least a cool sports car. <laughs> he is a Gemini. He is a popularity sim. Youthful and lively, many think Gemini have enough energy for two. Constantly on the move, it isn't surprising to find them bouncing from one place to the next. He is sloppy. He's pretty outgoing. He's kind of on the lazy side. He He's like halfway in between lazy and active. He's a little more on the serious side, and he's pretty nice, and he's very fit, as you can see here. His interests include crime, entertainment, culture, health, and sports, and travel. We don't know what his one true hobby is, and his memories include learning his toddler skills from his dad, uh, aging up well, getting a crush, or going steady with Ophelia, and having his very first kiss with Ophelia. His turn-ons are red hair and athletic, and his turn-off is influential. Okay, and now for little Jill, the youngest child and daughter. Jill has looks just like a human, even though pollination technician number nine is her father. She got only the human traits from her mother, unlike her brother Johnny, who has the green skin of his father. Now, we don't know what her aspiration is going to be yet, but Jill does have a hidden popularity token, so we'll probably be making her a popularity sim. Her relationships with her family, it's good, but they're not. she's not really friends with any of them. She knows Ophelia, and she knows her older half-sisters. She also knows Buck Grunt. Um, the two of them have been playing together at school. Even though their parents don't like each other, that doesn't stop them. They're young and innocent. She has an A in school. She does very well in school. And she has one logic skill. Jill is actually very bright. She is a Virgo. Modest and shy, introverted Virgos take pride in their meticulous and practical approach to life. Unfortunately, these same traits can also result in a very fussy individual. She's very neat, very shy, um, kind of lazy, a little on the playful side, and a little bit on, she's like halfway in between grouchy and nice. Her bio says, when Jill closes her eyes, she sees dolphins. She has her heart set on becoming a deep sea welder someday. <laughs> and her interests include travel, animals, toys, school, entertainment, culture, and fashion. We don't know what her one true hobby is yet. And her mem she has all of her memories of get being potty trained, learning to walk. Jenny actually taught her to walk, and Pollination Technician taught all of the remaining skills to both Jenny and Jill, and she grew up well to a child. So that is the family, in a nutshell, and a little bit of their story, and of course we'll continue to talk more about their story as we play the family. But let's go ahead and press play and get started on the scripted events. 
Okay, so we get this pop-up right away that says Johnny's ready to become a man. He wants a birthday party to mark the occasion, so pick up the phone to invite his friends. Blow out the candles when everybody's ready. So the first thing we're going to do is take Johnny over to the phone, and we're going to throw a party, throw a birthday party. And it's 10 a.m., so we still have plenty of time to get him to the cake. Oh, look at this. Jenny's out here serenading Paul. So we're going to invite Ophelia, and I think we'll invite Rip as well. I hope that's going to be okay with his parents. I don't think they have anything against the Grunt children. It's just Tank and his prejudice. And then we'll also invite over Chloe and Lola and just see if they'll come. All right, the guests are all invited. Break out the refreshments and the latest tunes. It's party time. And it says missing some of your party guests, so I guess everybody's not going to show up. Let's zoom out and see who shows up. So Tank Grunt is crashing the party. And this is also scripted into the game. He is programmed to come and crash the party. And I think that's not going to be great for us. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't start any crap. Oh no, he's going to start it. He's going to start a fight right here. And Johnny has the want to irritate him, so let's irritate him really quick. Um, insult him. Say, your mom is a llama. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Johnny. Don't cry. I really like Rip Grunt. He's my favorite of the Grunt uh, family. Okay, get out of here, matchmaker. All right, so I don't want them to get in a fight because I want Johnny to have a good birthday party. He has the want to have a great party. I guess he didn't get the want fulfilled for irritating. And here comes Ophelia. She's already aged up to an adult. So after Johnny ages up, we will uh, continue their relationship. All right, so let's have him greet all the guests. I'm going to have him talk to uh, Rip here. And I think Johnny and Rip could definitely become friends. They're very close to it. And Rip is not like the other grunts. He's different uh, from his brothers and his dad. And before I forget, while we're doing the birthday party, let's take a really quick tour of the Smith house. I should have done this before we started playing, but I forgot. So let's take a look at the house. I love this house. So we have a bathroom. It's going to need a little bit of remodeling um, because I don't like all these doors. There's There are always too many doors in the Max's houses. Why, Max's? Why so many doors? I just don't know. So we might have to take out some of these doors and do a little bit of work. But I like to keep the, the style that the family has and keep their furnishings and everything. So we're going to try to keep it true to style. They have two bathrooms downstairs. There's this empty room right here, which I don't really know. We could use that for maybe a hobby room or who knows what we'll use that for. There is a bedroom downstairs, like a study over here. A large living room, dining room, and a very nice kitchen with bar. And then on the top floor, we have Johnny's bedroom and Jill's bedroom, and also another full bath. And there's another empty bedroom over here. So we have room for another child. If Paul and Jenny really got down to business, it is possible that they could have another child, and we would have room for that as well. And there's like a storage room up here in the attic too. So we have a lot of room in this house for things. If the family wants to buy things or take up hobbies, we have a lot of room for that. Okay, back to the party. So Johnny's out here talking to Rip. And look, they just became friends. I love it. The party is not bad. And actually, is Rip, Rip and Ophelia are the only ones who came. And then Tank, of course, crashed. So Lola and Chloe did not come. We're going to go out back and we're going to have Johnny come out here and join in the fun. Have him come out here and dance with Ophelia. Tank is out here just dancing like he didn't just crash this party with his face paint on. 
<laughs> probably gonna take that face paint off of him when we get to play him because I don't think he would just walk around with that on all the time. Maybe he would. Maybe he's that big of a douche. I don't know. Okay, Johnny's dancing with his mom, which is kind of weird. Let's have him go talk to Ophelia. Um, the party's still not bad, but he wants to have a great party, so we need him to really interact with his guests. All right, stop dancing with your mom at your 18th birthday party, Johnny. <laughs> go talk to your lady. <laughs> and we still have three minutes left in the party. Wow, she's bored. Do you see that? He's boring her. I think it's because he's younger than her now. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm bored by your prattle. All right, gossip with her. Let's gossip. Oh, he was talking to her about school, and she's like, I'm done with school. I want nothing to do with that. So as you may have noticed, Johnny is also not going to be going to college. Um, he doesn't have the want to go, and that's not part of the events. Of course, this is a base game neighborhood, so these events were created before university. But we're going to follow the Maxis events, and he's just going to age up to an adult. Still not bad. Um, let's have him tell her a joke. Tell her a joke, Johnny. She seems to like that. She seems to enjoy that. Oh, and Buzz Grunt just crashed the party as well. That's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so he came in here. Buzz came in here and started attacking Paul. And Johnny went running out of the room crying. He, The grunts are just ruining his birthday. This is terrible. And also, Jenny used a day of paid vacation today um, to so she could stay home for Johnny's birthday. And that was her only vacation day. She uses them as she gets them. All right, so I feel so sorry for Johnny here. His birthday is just being ruined. Oh, let's have him go back downstairs. And, oh, no, there goes Jill. There goes Jill crying. Okay, this is not going to work for me. No, you get out of here. You are ruining this family party. We're going to ask General Buzz to leave. And, oh, he wants to go console Jill. Oh, my goodness. Tell him to get out of your house. All right, he's going to go console Jill first. And I've got to keep an eye on the time, too. Oh, my goodness. This just breaks my heart, these grunts. Why even come over here and do that? Okay, I guess she didn't need consoling anymore. Let's find Johnny. All right, he's out here. You know what, Johnny? Why don't you ask Buzz to leave? Tell him to get out of your birthday party. This is your 18th birthday party, and you don't want this jerk here. All right, he's leaving, so he's not going to cause any more trouble. I don't know about Tank. Oh, gosh. Okay, the party's a good time now, so this would be, I think, a good place to go and have Johnny blow out the candles. <laughs> go blow out those candles, Johnny. Let's try and salvage this. Oh, look at Jenny and Paul. All right, everybody's going to gather around. Hopefully. Guys, stop dancing. Stop dancing and go watch your son age up. He, he was scowling at Tank. Did you see that? Alright, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Here they go. He's probably wishing for the grunts to get the heck out of his life. <laughs> Here he goes, and he's going to age up to an adult. I can't wait to see what he's going to look like. I mean, as far as his clothing and stuff. Because we can pretty much tell what his facial features and stuff are going to look like. Wow, Ophelia's in the way. I see that he's wearing a sweater and shorts. Okay. He is a very handsome sim, though. I really like Johnny. He is good looking. All right. Well, that outfit, I mean, it's not terrible. It's like a hoodie with a button down under it and shorts. It's not terrible. But it is summer, so I think we might give him a little bit a different t-shirt or shirt once we play him like maybe a t-shirt and look he wants to move out I love it I'm gonna lock that in for him Johnny has grown into an adult as a teenager Johnny achieved the aspiration level of style and scenester that's pretty good with a little hard work life could get even better 
So he enjoyed the last par- portion of his life, and it says Johnny is ready for a life of his own. Getting a job and moving out will start him on his adult journey. Okay, so let's see what kind of job he wants to get. So far, he doesn't want to get one, so we're not going to force him into that. He does have a lifetime want of becoming mayor, so maybe he wants to work in the political career. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, the party is over. It says the birthday party rocked. Great job. I was trying to get Johnny over to Ophelia so that they could sort of rekindle their romance as adults. I do see here that they have one bolt together, so that's that's good. Um, he got that want fulfilled. And look at this. He wants to get a job in the music career. I love that for him. We haven't had any musicians, so this would be really fun to play. Um, so he wants to get a job in the music career, and he wants to move out. Let's see if we can find him that job. Johnny's on his way outside to get the newspaper and see if there are any jobs available. He's going to check the full-time jobs first because, of course, he needs a full-time job. And we've got entertainment, so that's not going to work. Business, no. And adventurer, nope, not going to work. Okay, so there's no jobs available. Let's check the part-time jobs and see if he can get anything part-time. Okay, so part-time jobs, we have intelligence. That's not going to work for us. Music! There is a part-time job available for him in the music career track as a record store clerk level one. He'll only work three hours per day and get 52 simoleons a day. He's going to take it and he's going to keep looking for a full-time position, but right now he just needs something to support himself. So he is taking the job in the music career. Now, I don't know if that's going to fulfill this one. Oh, it did. No, it didn't. I think it just re-rolled it. I don't know. But he definitely wanted to get into music, and he did, so I'm happy for him there. Now, he wants to move out, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to wait until we play him next, because I'm thinking that he might be moving in with Ophelia. I don't know how she feels about that yet. So we're going to wait until we play the first rounds before we decide where he's going to move. Because, I mean, he has no money to of his own. He has a job paying 52 simoleons a day, and that's all he's got. He has no money in savings or anything. So if he moved out, he'd just have to live on the street. He's going to stay right now with his parents, and we'll see how his relationship with Ophelia goes. And I just went and checked Johnny's hobby enthusiasm. His one true hobby is music and dance. This is perfect. He wanted to work in music. His hobby is in music. And I think this is going to be so much fun. We are going to make him a rock star. If he wants to be. <laughs> he wants to gain a skill point. So I think gaining a uh, creativity skill point would be really great for him. I think his parents should buy him an instrument for his birthday. He's obviously showing an interest in music, and he has an aptitude for music, and they haven't bought him anything yet for his birthday, so let's buy him an instrument. All right, I've purchased an instrument, and Paul is going to go and give it to him as a gift. Oh, look, he wants his relative to get engaged. He wants to see Johnny get married so he can have grandchildren. Isn't that sweet? Okay, we are going to give him this keyboard, this Yazimo F-Sharp Symphonator. This is custom content, and I believe this was converted from The Sims 3, and I did get this off Mod The Sims, if you want that. Um, you can search for that, Yazimo F-Sharp Symphonator. And he's going to give that to Johnny, and I bought this because it was the least expensive instrument available and the family didn't have a ton of money especially with Jenny wanting to quit her job so they couldn't buy him like a fancy guitar but they're gonna buy him this keyboard to get started with here you go son happy birthday for me yes thanks dad all right so it's now in his inventory and we can put it upstairs in his room if there's room he doesn't have a ton of room in his room, but maybe we could get rid of this desk. We'll put the desk in his inventory and replace it with the keyboard. Let's come have Johnny try out his new birthday gift. So it is now 6 p.m. and everybody in the family has aged up. Paul is now 71 years old. Jenny is 56. Johnny, of course, is 18. And little Jill is 8. Here he goes. 
And I'm going to swing around here so we can really get a good look at him playing his keyboard. I love this. I'm so excited to play a musician. We haven't had anybody, not even in my Pleasant View series, who's really shown an interest in music. So this is very exciting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use or in my gameplay rules. I also have lots of other Sims 2 related stuff over there. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. For as little as $3 a month, you get access to my private Discord server, patron-only live streams, bonus videos from the pre-made neighborhoods, and more. So visit me at patreon.com slash pleasant sims for more information on that. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I am on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I am on Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you with a new episode very soon.